Hello everyone, Teacup Tempest here, and today I'm going to be making an adorable honey shop. With 1.17, we now have the deep slate, which I think, and you can see off in the corner there, will make for a beautiful little honey shop. I'm excited, I have the vision all in my head, so I hope it comes out the way I anticipate. But yeah, let's let's take a look at this. So we are going with the five by five again. This time it is, let's see here. 13 by nine. So it's 13 long and nine in depth. And I'm just gonna give this a moment so I can put up the material list and get some numbers in here for you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I post Minecraft videos every week. I have big things coming. I don't know if I'll have it launched by the time this video comes out. And I don't know if this video is gonna go on my new channel. Oh, I'm dropping it. Did you hear that? I got a new channel coming. So this may be on the new channel. Or my old channel. I don't know yet. But... It may be a couple more weeks before I have everything ready to launch. But I'm recording some stuff ahead of time. So that I have more time to devote to getting everything set up. Alright, I believe that's probably been enough time. Let's grab our deep slate brick. And we are going to start on the front left hand side and we're going to bring these up by five. So one, two, three, four, five, and connect them at the top. And do this all the way around. Alright, now we have our frame. So for the center, like around the windows, I'm doing a mix of yellow concrete and the honeycomb block. I think it just looks darling. So just kind of randomly place them, leaving a two open squares in the middle, like so. And just go around and do the same thing. Oops. Placing some of the honeycomb block and whatnot in random places. And filling in the rest with the yellow concrete. No rhyme or reason, just fill it in. Like so. And do this all the way around. And of course, I just realized I didn't make a spot for the door. So we are going to do that right here. Just do that. Like so. Alright. For the glass, I used the new tinted glass. 
you can use black glass, gray glass, really any color glass that you want to use. So let's go in. I think I accidentally placed that somewhere in here. No, I guess not. And fill in all the window places. And this is what you should have so far. And then we're going to keep it pretty simple. And just use our spruce tap... <laughs> tap door? <laughs> Trap door. And put two here. Put your dirt or grass block. And make a little window box. We will come back to the door here in a moment. But let's continue doing the trap doors and window boxes all the way around. the door I'm going to grab the campfire block and the shovel to put it out with and place three campfire blocks put those out here let's go ahead and break this out and grab our spruce slab And then take your spruce trap doors and then let's just grab the spruce fence, don't need the campfire anymore. And voila. I will probably be doing the floor and spruce, so let's go ahead and come in here and fill all this in with our spruce plank. I like to use plank because mobs can't spawn on it, so it makes perfect flooring. Helps protect your boots a little bit. And then I'm probably going to throw you for a whirl, but I want to put a birch door on. Mm-hmm. What you think? You like it so far? Alright. So next, we are going to put the roof on. So I want to do, and I hope this looks alright. I want to do oops and move that for now. A roof like sit here, like this on it. So let's see about doing that. Because we have a lot of bright color. And then I need full blocks. Okay, I got the full block of this, and then I need a full block block of the black stone brick all right so take your polished black stone brick and run it down the front leaving one overhanging on each side let 
like so. Do the same thing on the back side. Alright, now let's start working on the frame of our roof. So let's place our upside down stairs. Let's do a stair. Upside down stairs. And then full block. And then stair. Let me take a step back. Stair. Full block. And oops. upside down stair between these top stairs. And then a right side up stair facing, like if you are facing out from your build and place it like so. Yes, I think that's going to be a pretty roof for this build. So it's stair, stair, block, stair, stair, block, stair, stair. Let's do that same thing on this side. So upside down stairs, stair, upside down stair, full block, stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down, full block, stair, upside down stair in between, and then facing out from your build, place an ups a right side up stair. Now we have the frame of our roof. Let's go in and put in our deep sleep brick. I will probably be doing a single window roof on each side, and I like to do that at the end, so keep that in mind. So let's fill everything in with our deep slate brick stair and brick until we get to the top and then we'll do black stone slab down the middle. Grab your black stone slab. Yeah, let's run that down the middle. Like so. Yes, that's perfect. Okay, let's fill in the back side and then we will work on our roof windows. just want to do a roof window in the middle so let's go up to and then I want it right here in the middle and to be three wide so let's go up to break out those three and then let's take our deep slate brick and bring that up by three And take our deep slate brick and bring it up by three. So one, two, three. The rule of thumb is you want it to be snug up against the next roof block. You don't want a gap. Let's break out the three behind. And then start working on filling some of this in. Like so. I got the one in the middle. I accidentally broke this earlier, so let me do that. Break out those in the middle. Let's go ahead and place those two. Do 
that and that. Now let's grab our polished black stone brick and do the outer edge of our roof and finish detailing out this roof. Placing our upside downs, our full blocks. Oops. A upside down here in the middle. Full block facing out, or not full block. Stair block facing out. And then connect it up with the roof, top of the roof. And then let's take our yellow concrete and honeycomb block and let's just do that and then let's grab our glass the other thing i think i want to do let's put in a window box so let's do that I need this. Uh, let's see, where's the dirt? I'll put that away for now. And... Kinda don't like that. I like seeing lock on the bottom. I think it pulls it together, but then everything like blends in together. What I probably should have done is actually make these out of the, um, so let me look at that really quick and then here I actually do the deep slate like so. But of course mix in some of this. And then here I have our window box. Let's see if I like it this way better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I do. So I will show you exactly how I did this on the other side. And then here I'll probably do... A spruce fence with a lantern hanging. Yeah, I like that. So let's go ahead and do that on this side. So, find your center three here. Go up two and start breaking out those three. Take your yellow concrete and honey block and bring those up by three. There we go. Like so. Then take your deep slate brick. Let's break those three out and start layering this up. And then do this. Break out the two in the center. Do our deep slate bricks there. Let's switch to our black stone and start detailing the outer edge of our roof. And then do an upside down stair, right side up as you're looking out from your build. And then let's grab our um, polished black stone brick. Oops. And fill that in like so. And then let's go back to our deep slate brick. And do two, and two like that. Take our tinted glass and fill that in. Here, place a full block. Let's grab our dirt. I already have the dirt. Put our dirt, and then window box, like so. And then put our fence like that. And this is what we should have so far. Isn't that looking adorable? Alright, I'm going to figure out what I want to do with this end piece and I will be right back.
All right, I'm back and this is what I decided to do. So let's go on the other side and recreate this for you all. Let's start with the center and bring it all the way up. And then one, two, three, bring it over like so. And then let me check. Okay. Skip over and do those two up. Let's take our tinted glass and put that in there. And then let's sprinkle the honeycomb and yellow around like so. Let's grab our uh, stair in here, place one like this. Place one like this, do a full block, do three grass blocks, and then run trap doors along the sides and bottom. Let's grab our, yep. Let's grab our slab, run it across here, take our spruce fence, and the lantern and do this like so and then i think i actually replaced this one with a stair because i like the way it looked better and then let's go grab our spruce trap door place two to the right and left like so this house is now getting in my way and there you have it all you gotta do now is place some azalea and flowers and stuff like that around the outside. I will be back to show you that. And then of course, I will do an interior to show you guys as well on how to set up this shop. It's gonna look similar to one I built in a cottage core world and yeah, I think you're really gonna, really gonna like it. And then let me go ahead and throw the lanterns here. And yeah, I will be back once I get all that done. All right, I am back. And as you can see, I put some flowers and lanterns and azalea bush all around this house. And I thought I would show you how I would do the interior. I've put some shroom light in here just to light everything up. And you can do a few things. You can have like an upper area for people to live if you want like a that kind of build where the shop's on bottom and the living quarters are on top you could smooth everything out and just put some greenery and stuff in here which i think is what i want to attempt to do so let's get started by doing some of this stuff i may sneak in like a little loft right here or something bear with me this is going to be a build with me style so i think i might do something like this actually i'm putting it on the wrong block so you want it at the very top of this block and what I want to do, I'm not sure I'm break that, is put like a little storage area. Um, made another honey shop that I will probably post at some point. And then maybe here, oops, do this. And run that like so and then up here we can take uh, the beehive yeah take 
like some beehive and some barrels and just kind of like oops, lace them down up here probably don't even have to go that deep to be honest just kind of lace them around and let's throw oops a few barrels in here and then now you have like a little loft area and that's going to look a lot better once i get done so let's go ahead and start kind of uh like setting up our shop one of the things that you could do is like right here do that and make like a a counter let's actually yeah that way you can have some like maybe a place to sit back here Let's see here. I'm going to just use dark oak. Yeah. Uh, maybe not like that. Uh, let's just make like a a little chair, and then maybe do like a little table. That way our worker can sit whenever things are more quiet. And then you can always do like a um I'm gonna use a smooth quartz block to simulate that, but like a uh, cash register right there. And then you could also do an item frame. I'm gonna do a glowing item frame. Put that there. Grab a diamond. Probably would rename the diamond to like pay here or something. And do that. And you could get fancy with it and put a barrel like right there. Which is like you legit pay here. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's start setting up some of the shop area. I'm going to do an alternating pattern of the barrel and this all the way down. And then, though, we probably aren't going to have just a ton of honey products so let me grab an item frame again and let's see what all we would sell here because this could be like you could sell candles if you want since you need uh honey to do that and then go ahead and do this so let's see what all do we have that we could sell we got the honey block. We got the honey comb. The honey bottle. And the honey comb block. So. Like so. The other thing you could do is you could sell string but i'm gonna pause and do some thinking on what all i can sell in this shop and i'll be right back all right as i was saying you can t do quite a few different little things you could rename a potion and call it like a, a honey mead and so that you can rename the cake and call it a honey cake. Um, same with like the pumpkin pie, just call it a, a honey pie or something like that. But I'm gonna just put some string in here for now. And then of course you got all this extra space you can work with. 
what I would probably do. Because, yeah, this ended up being quite a big shop. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Because you can do, like, a cute little sitting area, but you're not really selling anything. I guess you could sit down and just eat some honeycomb. Um... What I may actually do is sell bread. And then that's what people do is they like come in and buy them some bread and some honey and then they come sit over here and uh, like have them a little snack. So let's just do four fences like so. Let's grab some carpet to put on top. I would probably do, let's, let's see how obnoxious this looks. Let's do orange and yellow. Actually, I kind of like that. And then let's grab our dark oak stair. And do this. And now we have a cozy little area to sit enjoy some honey and let's see seems like i had another thought yeah all right so up here what i'm going to do is start kind of smoothing out the roof a bit just to make it look a little bit better so just use your stairs to do that And then I'll have to light everything up. I'm going to leave this like this because I'm going to use the azalea leaves. But in the meantime, let's work on a chandelier. I don't want to fence them on a wall. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da -da, there we go. And then lanterns. Okay. Let's bring that wall down. Of course, it's hard to see. Let me do that for typing so we can see. Alright. I think I can now do that. Let me grab the chain and then instead of the fence let's do a colored glass let's do like orange so let's do colored glass on each of these outside walls do two chains in the middle and then let's hang our lantern Now we have oh, now we have a fancy little chandelier over here. Oops. I'm gonna try to squeeze in. Uh, that's not gonna look good because of it attaching. So I may. Just hang one here. Okay, that should light that up nicely. I will probably just put like a lantern right here. Probably put some candles and greenery around. And then like over here, you can do like a simple light stand. And maybe, oh yeah, I was going to do a table there. So let me grab that. And then grab the orange. Like so. Alright. 
Let's grab our candles. You kind of want to do the livery at the end. It just makes it a little easier. Because otherwise you're going to have to try to like decorate around the leaves. Oops. Oh, it's just easier. Grab our yellow candle. And let's place some here and there. And probably like right here. Okay, I got some candles. Alright, I am loving the way this is turning out so far. Let's start working on this. So let's bring this down and like around and dangle it there. Bring that down a couple. And like so. And then here, I'm just gonna like have it hang. And you're starting to see why I kind of like left some places flat because it makes it easier to put the leaves in. And once I get done, you're not going to notice as much. So just kind of like fill this in. And let's run that along here. And down a bit. Like so. And then... Do this. Okay. Let's take a look at how that looks. Alright, I dig it. Let's see. can kind of do that. I think that would make that look a little bit better. Let's do a... Yeah, I like it. It's like it's overgrown and leafy let's go in with our azalea and just break random ones and replace it with the the flowers And it kind of makes sense for a bee shop to be all like naturey and green. And let's see, let's put in a little bit there. All right, I'm digging this. You got the like mood lighting going on with the candles you got all the greenery fancy chandeliers a place to sit of course you can buy stuff you got a place for your worker to be i'm digging this now let's grab a pot and let's see I'm going to put a birch sapling in it. Ah, that blends in like, whoops, way too much. Let's see. Probably we'll do just like a nice white flower. Let's see. Yeah. And then here... Let's put like a fern. 
that's hanging down a little too much. Here, let's do... I want pretty blue. There you have it. This is what I would do with the interior. This is, took me nearly 20 minutes to come up with. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this. This is just lovely. Like I said, the mood lighting is amazing. Let's go in here. Like, look at this. Just you walk in and it's just lush and got the mood lighting. Oh, it's just so lovely in here. I absolutely love the way this interior ended up coming out. And that's all I've got. Be sure to like and subscribe. I've got big things coming next week. Specifically on Thursday, August 5th. I'm super excited to show you what I've been working on. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out. And it may involve that house later on. But where's the house I... Yeah, there's a little sneak peek of what's coming next week. But that's all I've got for you. Have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful weekend. Until next time. Goodbye.